I love a celebration. And while Christmas is one of my favorite holidays, it is a long time after Christmas until there is another one to celebrate. That's why I'm always so excited when 4th of July comes around. It's such a fun and festive summer holiday and a great break in between other major holidays. That's why I'm so excited to be a part of this Kin Community Collaboration Plan Prep Party. It's so great to be a part of a 4th of July playlist where you can get so much inspiration ideas for your get together. I'm making a fabulous grilled pineapple salsa. Actually, it started as a salsa and I eat it like a salad with a spoon or a fork because it is so good and I think you're soon gonna figure out why. This goes together so quickly and has a slight grilled flavor and it is so summery and so delicious. After my video, make sure to stick around and watch the other great videos so you can plan the perfect 4th of July party. To start, you just wanna clean your pineapple. I only use half a pineapple for this, so you can set aside the other half, or you can make a huge batch of this because it really is that good and double the recipe. Just cut the top and bottom off and then around the sides, down the middle, and then take the half that you're using and cut it in quarters and then slice that core out. It's really too fibrous and thick to use. Leave it in strips and set it on a pan. I always just like to lightly oil it with a neutral flavored vegetable oil just to ensure it doesn't stick to the grill. Next, just cut a large onion in half. Make sure to do this crossways because it grills best this way. Take the outer skin off and then just lightly oil the cut side also, just so it doesn't stick. Next on the pan, you can just set three whole jalapenos. If you're a little scared of the spice, you can of course use less. I love the flavor they add and they are grilled whole, so just leave them as they are and set them on the pan. To finish this off is gonna be the wonderful flavorings you're gonna add. Cut one lemon, two limes, and one orange right in half. Set them on the pan and you are ready to grill. Have your grill preheated to a fairly high temperature. Make sure the grates are clean from any debris. Just use a good grill brush and wipe them off. And then put all of your items right on the grill. The jalapenos, the pineapple, the onion, the orange, the lemon, and the limes. Grilling all these items really just brings out some amazing flavor. The sugars almost caramelize and crisp on the outside and it really does add just a great dimension. Leave it for a few minutes on each side and when you're starting to get those good charred grill marks, just flip over the pineapple. And make sure to be checking your jalapenos and turn them as soon as they're getting grill marks also. Make sure to grill the jalapeno on all sides. The citrus does not need to be turned, it just needs to get a good grill mark on that cut side. As the items are starting to get charred all over, you can take them off and set them on your pan. You don't have to worry about contamination here because there are no raw meats. Once everything is grilled, you can just take it back inside. Let it cool off slightly until you're able to handle it. Next, you can just chop all of your grilled items. Start with the pineapple and cut it into smaller pieces and then dice it up. And then the jalapenos. Now, I like to leave the seeds in because I like the spice. If you're worried, you can of course leave them out. Grilled jalapenos seriously have a great flavor and aroma. As you're making this, you are hardly gonna be able to contain yourself with all the wonderful smells and delicious flavors you're having. I usually pick about half of it out and eat it while I'm making it. Next, you can just chop one red pepper. I like to not grill the red pepper, so there's a little bit of extra crunch and fresh flavor in this salad. Just take off the top and bottom and the ribs inside. They can be a little bit bitter and all the seeds. You just don't need all that. Chop into a fairly nice fine dice because you want this to be able to be either picked up with a spoon if you're gonna eat it like I am because it's that good or with chips, which is equally as delicious. Followed by the onion. And then slice some small tomatoes in half. Of course you can use a whole tomato and dice it finely, but I love using these small tomatoes. There's less juice. To finish this off, you just wanna take one large bunch of cilantro. I just picked mine fresh from the garden. While you may not have that, check your local farmer's market and buy something local. It really is the peak flavor that way. Chop the cilantro fairly fine, throw it into the bowl, and then finish this off with all of your juiced citrus that you just grilled. The lemon, the orange, and the limes, they really have such an amazing flavor when they're grilled. And as a bonus, they juice easier because they're warm. 
Did you know that? Anything that's warm usually juices easier. That's why a lot of places will tell you to warm up a citrus in the microwave a little bit before you want to juice it. Fun fact of the day. And then you just need a few garlic cloves. Mince them up and then put a little bit of salt on them and kind of mash them around with your knife. This just adds a little bit of abrasion and helps them break down a little bit easier. This now is ready to go. Stir it together, but it really is best if you can let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour. The flavors meld together, the onion flavor comes out, and everything gets absolutely amazing. I know I keep saying that, but it really is that good. This is so easy to put together. It is the fresh flavors of summer, and it is so delicious. Whether you eat it with utensils as a salad or with chips, it is amazing. The 4th of July has so many great memories for me. Last year, we had an amazing 4th at the farm, a beautiful party on an evening with friends and celebratory food. I hope you make great memories this year on your 4th of July. Make sure to stay around and watch all the other great kin collaborators. They have so many great ideas for your 4th of July party. Thanks for watching and happy 4th of July.